and you voted. And today we're with the winner of Buffalo's Best Sponge Candy. News for us, Katie Alexander is at Watson's Chocolates in Tonawanda, where workers are busy trying to keep up with demand. Good morning. Good morning, Mel and Jordan. It smells phenomenal in here. For a chocoholic, this is basically the best assignment I could possibly get. And this place has been voted Buffalo's Best Sponge Candy, so congratulations. Thank this, you. This is uh, Whitney Watson Beecher. She is third generation owner, a family owned place. Yeah. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, we're excited. We're excited. We have a lot of people who work really hard to make this. And um, I just, I'm really happy for them because it's, it's a labor of love and they deserve it. So I'm happy. And there's a lot of dedication from your employees. There really is. Um, there's people who, you know, I'm not usually here at this time of day, but there's people coming in this time of day to just crank out the sponge candy. We can't we can't keep up and they just they come in they're making records amount every day and it's just it's amazing so we're talking about 35 tons of sponge candy every year coming out of this place yeah what do people love so much about it um, I think it's how thick the chocolate coating is. Um, it's the fact that we use only the heart of the sponge candy, which is the airiest and most tender part of it. Um, it's made the same way we've been making it for 70 years, so there's that just continuity of quality. It's just, it's what you've expected and known for three generations, so. And certainly an exciting time as we're getting into the final stretch before Christmas. This has to be crazy in it here. It is. It's absolutely bananas um, because we have a lot of mouths to feed. We have the eight retail stores, and on top of that, the mail order business is just nuts. So these past two weeks have been the busiest shipping weeks of the year. So very exciting time here, and it's a very exciting time here on Wake Up because we're going to be showing you what goes into making this sponge candy throughout the rest of the morning here on Wake Up. Make sure you stick with us. For now, reporting live, Katie Alexander, News 4. I heard a rumor we may even get to eat some more. I'm crossing my fingers on that one. Okay. <laughs> we, we were taste testing it live, Katie, uh, earlier this week. We thank you there in the town of Tonawanda. Five